Hello YouTube, today I'll be showing you my top 5 apps. All these apps work on the Surface RT, so there shouldn't be a problem working on other RT devices. And I will also be happy to try out some of the apps you guys recommend. My first app is going to be Ilomilo. This is my favorite one because it supports multiplayer. It's only local, but it's always funner to play with other people. And I think it also supports DLC because on the menu screen, it says downloadable content, but I went on it and it doesn't show anything. It also supports uh, the keyboard, uh, Xbox controller, and touchscreen as you can see multiplayer is there and if you go to it you could choose from xbox controller to keyboard and touchscreen and on the bottom right here you can see downloadable content i went to it but there's nothing so maybe later down the road It also has a bunch of levels. And I think this one, once you beat the main story, you will unlock it and it's just mini games, but I'm not sure yet since I haven't completed it. And I'll show you one of the basic levels so you can see the basic gameplay. And these first four are just to teach you how to play the game. And I'll switch to the keyboard so I don't have to put my fingers on the screen and you guys can see better. So basically, you just move with the directional W, A, S, D. And you can turn the screen with these direction buttons on the bottom. Basically, what you have to do is make the two guys meet and you push Space supposed to switch it, but I don't know if you could yet And the graphics in this game are just amazing You could change the graphics if your computer can't run it you go onto the settings and then you go on to settings again and then you can see the things you could change like visual quality resolution and I just switch the language Sorry about that. And then just go back to the game. <laughs> and this just basically tells you what to do. I'm gonna skip it because it'll become too long. Spaces for picking up the boxes. Sorry about that. I usually mainly use the 360 control, so I'm not very familiar with these. And enter is to switch, so never mind what I said earlier about switching. I was playing this with someone else, and it was much funner because once you switch characters the other person does their part 
and this is the first level this game is available as of today for $4.99 and you should totally check it out it's my top game the next one is Jetpack Joyride and all these games I'm showing have achievements for Xbox Live except for two so they're totally worth it if you like Xbox Live achievements And something cool about this game, it's it's been available since launch of Windows 8 and it's totally free so you won't have to put anything. And it's just like any other device like on iPhone or Android. So if you like it on those you should like it here too. And I'm pretty far ahead. And I'm not going to go too far on this because I don't want the video to be too long and it will take forever to update. It's pretty fun. I, I've enjoyed it since I got my Surface. And the next game I'm going to show you is Rayman Jungle Run. This game came out a little while ago and it's amazing. It has stunning graphics, achievements, and it's pretty easy, simple controls. So basically what you do is tap anywhere and Raymond will jump. And I like it because this game looks really good. And I'm not really trying to co collect everything because I've already done it before. So it shouldn't really matter anymore. I really enjoyed the gameplay, it's easy, mostly anyone could get through the levels. I wasn't trying and I got a bunch of the stuff so it's pretty easy. And that's the game. It has a bunch of levels, there's also different types of gameplay and I'm on the trial right now but I'm planning on buying it soon it's $2.99 so not really expensive and it includes the achievements and my next game is going to be Riptide this game has great graphics and it supports the Xbox controller and what you need to do to increase the graphics is go to settings then graphics and increase them i had it connected to a tv and it kind of lagged so i decreased them just by pushing default but when it's not connected to my tv it could run it at the highest settings This game is only $4.99 and I bought it because just because of the graphics and it supported the controller. You can just tell by looking at it. It looks great. I would have bought uh, the Hydro Thunder but it's twice as expensive. It was on special but it was really limited and I already had bought this game so I just didn't want to spend another 10 bucks or 
really anything because this game's great. Uh, the only reason I would want Hydra Thunder is because of the achievements, and I also like the franchise from before. You could also do tricks on this game, but it will be kind of hard to do since I'm holding the ca camera. I'll try. Nope. And I usually play with the control, so I'm not as good as with the control. And my next game is going to be Samurai vs. Zombie Defense. This game just came out like a couple days ago. And it's Xbox Live enabled with achievements, and it's totally free. It also has simple controls. Uh, it features upgradable items. So I'm just going to start the game so you can see. Here's the upgrade screen. You could upgrade them. You could upgrade your helpers. That's what I call them. And uh, extra accessories that double coins and stuff. So I'm just going to start the game by touching the check mark. And what you have to do basically is just select what you want and then start it you just move by tapping the sides the guy would automatically attack and you have your special attacks right here and you tap them What you do is you tap these and you'll use your special attacks and you have to connect coins to up to upgrades and I'm doing really bad because it's hard to play while recording it's a really fun game especially since it just came out and they could also add a bunch of stuff later on it doesn't have many bugs, so you shouldn't have any trouble with that. And that is it for the video. I will put down a list on the comments below for all the games. And thank you for watching.